Hey there, Pokemon fans! Readers here with another deck review. So this is going, this is probably going to be my last deck review, and I mean my last theme deck deck review. Got it? Okay. So let's keep moving. Uh, from now on, I will start a new series, which is going to be a deck review and playlist video in the same video. So I will review a deck and play with a deck in the same video, and this deck is going to be created, built by by myself. So it will not be a, a theme deck review, you will not know uh, what this deck is all about. You will have to watch the video to find out. And you will comment below, tell me your opinion about the decks that I build, suggest new cards, new strategies, and whatever, uh, suggest cards for the next video and all that stuff. You will see guys, I really hope that you will enjoy that. So, and uh, that, that is going to be on Monday, Tuesday, on Tuesday. On Wednesday, it's not going to be empty. Uh, I, I am start, I'm practicing for a new series, which is a, it is a surprise. You have to wait for not this Wednesday, tomorrow, the next one. And I really hope that you will enjoy it, but let's move, let's, let's, let's just review this deck and you will see next Wednesday. So, we have the Dark Hammer deck. I have 8 overall wins and an 8 wins and 11 overall played games, which is quite cool, better than Enchanted Echo <laughs> actually or similar. No, better than Enchanted Echo. And I'm going to just quickly review this deck as fast as possible. We have Scraggy which evolves to Scrafty. I've never never ever played uh, at attacked with Scrafty. Few times I've I had evolved him, it, whatever, but never attacked with it. So with two darkness, 50 damage, times the coins, and it is confused. Not good, not good, not a good Pokemon. Then we have the best Pokemon line in this uh, deck, which is Machop, evolving to Machok, which is not so good, but Machamp is, is awesome. Seriously, guys, Machamp is awesome. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> he has. He's like he 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 looks like he has a duck face, but and those two fingers here are very funny. But he's a fighter and he's an awesome fighter. And this fighting fury ability is extremely good. Each of your fighting type Pokemon's attack do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. That means that all your fighting type Pokemon has a muscle band an extra muscle band attacked, attached on them, which is awesome. So, his attack deals 100 damage with 3 energy, fighting type, which is quite hard to get to, but it's okay. And during your opponent's next turn, any damage done by attacks from the defending Pokemon is reduced by 40 damage. So, he also prevents damage. His retreat cost is extremely low for a stage 2 Pokemon and his health is awesome for a stage 2 Pokemon. The best card in this deck, hands down, and he's, and normally Machamp is a, a holo rare. In this deck, this is a special Machamp, it is non holo Or that's what I see. I, I don't see that glowing. Whatever. Let's keep moving. Landorus is the second best <laughs> uh, card in this deck. 120 HP, uh, south of power, that's the best attack, 20 damage, attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your best Pokemon. That's how you feed Machamp with energy and he gets strong. If you have Machamp, this attack deals 40 damage. And if you have strong energy, 60 damage. If you, hand, if you have the uh, training center uh, stadium, it goes to 80 damage. If you have muscle band, 100 damage with one energy. But you know, that's so much, uh, so much cards to <laughs> just consider that being good. But anyway, with, uh, <coughs> excuse me, 3 energy, 90 damage. Very good, very good. The retreat cost is ridiculous. Mien Fu evolves to Mien Sao. This is a combo card. I mean, if you have two Mienfu, one as your active, one as your bent, you evolve your active to Mienfu, attach an energy, return this Pokemon and all cards attached to it to your hand. So you deal 40 damage, you take Mienfu, Mienfu and the energy back in your hand. You promote your uh, your your bent Mienfu 
as your active Pokemon, next turn you bend your your Mienfu that you have in your hand, evolve the active Mienfu to Mien Sao, attach an energy, attack and do the same trick all over again. So that's how you attack with Mien Sao and you cycle those two Pokemon without losing damage. It is quite hard to do because Mien Fu can easily get one shotted with 60 HP that he has, but it is a good combo to prevent uh, getting damaged. I don't know, I like it. Uh, tell me your opinion if you understood what I said, all this. Uh, what I said, I believe that you understood. So that's a good Pokemon, I believe. Makuhira evolves to Hariyama, another good Pokemon in this deck. So it, it has reduced damage if it is attacked by fire or water type energy, 30 less damage, which is good. One fighting and two colorless, 80 damage. Pretty straightforward. The retreat cost is huge, so it's better let it's better to let him die instead of retreat him. And it's okay, an okay card. Hitmon Lee is a very good card <coughs> to finish off benched Pokemon, deals 30 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon, that's awesome. And with one extra energy, you have the ability to deal that 30 damage to uh, your active your opponent's active Pokemon, which is not good. 30 damage for three uh, energy. That's not good. <coughs> so I use him for stretch kick basically. Licky Tang evolves to Licky Licky. I don't like this card so much, but okay, let's not review it. Let's save some time. Uh, next, we have Pancham, which evolves to Pangoro. I don't like Pangoro, but I'm going to say, I'm going to review Pancham. <coughs> well, this guy is funny. Bad influence, evolution. That's, that's crazy. What were they thinking? Uh, if you have any. Darkness type Pokemon on your bench, search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and put it onto your onto this Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So it basically says that if you have a darkness type Pokemon in your bench on your bench, with one energy you can involve Pansam to Pangoro. Yeah, that's right. But how freaking many Darkness type Pokemon this deck has? Pokemon Company? Who created this deck? Seriously. The only basic Pokemon is two Scraggies right here. So you need those two Scraggies right there to have them onto your bench to evolve Pancham with one energy. That's, guys, that's not a good strategy. Come on, if the whole deck was darkness, I would understand that, but it is not. It has only two Pokemon. That's crazy. Who thought of that? Hmm. Then we have Pangoro. I don't like Pangoro. And this is the featured card of this deck. But I cannot understand why. And um, with two energy, thirty damage, and if you discard a <coughs> a item card, it deals forty more. Okay. And with three energy, eighty damage, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. Who cares if if you discard his top card? Nobody cares. A weakness to fighting is a huge drawback because everybody plays fighting now with. Uh, the Furious Fists uh, expansion and resistance to Psychic, that's a very good thing. Many people play Psychic, so that's good. But overall, I don't like Pangoro, period. Tell me your opinion about Pang Pangoro. I don't like them. I don't like him, seriously. Trainers, we have Professor's Letter, pretty straightforward, just fetch two basic energy uh, for your Pancham, actually. Uh, Pancham? Machamp. Ma um, roller Skates, you flip tails. That's all. Evo Soda, evolve your Machamp. <laughs> um, switch energy switch, just switch an energy before your active Pangoro dies. <clears throat> Corina, that's a very good card. Search your deck for a fighting type Pokemon and an item card. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So basically, search for a Machamp evolution and for, um, for Professor's Letter to start pumping Manchamp with basic um, fighting type energy. That's all. This deck should be Machamp deck. Seriously. Pokemon Center Lady, uh, heal 60 damage from your Machamp and remove all special conditions from your Machamp. Professor Sycamore, discard your hand and draw 7 cards. That's, that's the best card in this deck, seriously, hands down. And we have 6, I believe. 6. Uh, <coughs> 6 darkness type energy and 12 fighting type energy. 
So, I'm not so excited about this deck, Machamp is the best card in this deck, even though if he's benched, he's, he's giving value to every single card except from Scraggy and Pangoro. <laughs> and I believe that the Enchanted, Enchanted Echo is better than the Dark Hammer, but whatever. Tell me in the comments below what which one you like the most. And make sure to check tomorrow's episode for the playtest video with this deck. I'm going to play one game and only one game. So I really hope that it is going to be a win. And stay tuned for more Pokemon videos and stay tuned for the next week, which I will announce two new series. So <clears throat> that is that's it guys. I really hope that you enjoyed the last um the last deck review the, the last theme deck review play um, um video and i messed my intro my outro again so i'm going to leave you now with a messed outro and i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and be safe bye